All right, in this video, we're gonna cover a couple of questions that get asked almost every semester by students when it comes to using VoiceThread. At this point, you should have watched the videos um, posted by Brother Libber in the course that cover how VoiceThread works and how we're gonna use it in our course. But these questions, for some reason, pop up semester after semester. So instead of having you spend the time writing me an email or being frustrated while you try to figure it out, you can just watch this quick video and figure out kind of those frequently asked questions I see all the time from students. The first thing that students ask me is, I'm not exactly sure what all these folders and everything means. And at this point, um, there the only thing you should be seeing is this visual media, okay? The folders will show up um, later in the course for you. Once you post your introduction video, you'll then be invited to these additional um, group folders and that's why it's so important that you do post an introduction so for the sake of your introduction you'll just post your introduction and leave it in this visual media folder okay each one of these different folders um, I have students ask me what exactly they mean so throughout the course we cover different projects in all of the Adobe suite programs the first one we'll do is an icon draft set so I'm just hovered over that line and it says 01 icon draft w20 slash 35 so what that means is w20 is just winter 2020 and then 35 is just a section number so make sure that you double check your section number my courses are split so you should only be seeing one set of folders once you do your introduction video and I invite you in if you're not um, send me an email and let me know and, and include a screenshot of what you are seeing so I can make sure that I get you in the right location and then also if you're seeing the wrong section number send me an email and let me know about that too but that's what those numbers mean um, each time you'll just go in and make sure that you're you're submitting your voice thread for peer critique into the appropriate folder and all of that will make a lot more sense once we get going into the course but for the introductions don't worry about where you're posting it you should just post it straight in visual media the second thing that I wanted to cover is 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 that as you go through week one's folder it gives you kind of the feel that maybe you need to submit something for your voice thread after you've posted it and that's not the case I go ahead and I grade all of the introduction videos and voice thread manually so I can listen to every single one. Usually I get a response to everybody. And then I go ahead and invite you into the folders, okay? So you don't need to submit anything this week. That is not the case though as we move forward into our bigger projects. And that leads me to the final thing that I wanna show you and that's how to find a direct link. So once we get into the icon draft and the magazine spread and so on, you'll need to include a direct link for your voice thread. And this just makes it easy so that I can just take that direct link and open up your voice thread and look through at all your posts before um, I give you a final grade, okay, for that project. So what you'll need to do to get a direct link is you'll go ahead and find whatever voice thread that you're looking for that you wanna submit the link for. And then you should be able to just click here and it will give you a direct link. The problem that we found though is, is that when you do it embedded into the Canvas course, it doesn't, work, it doesn't always work. So what you'll wanna do is this open in a new tab. You'll click this and that will give you VoiceThread in a new tab on your browser. So it's just VoiceThread. At this point, um, because my introduction is the only thing that's posted in the folder, then I'll just click on it to be sure that it's directly mine and then up here in the URL address line of the browser, you'll just highlight that entire thing and copy it. And then you'll go back to your Canvas introduction. And when you hit your submit submission, you'll go ahead and copy that link straight into like the comments section. Um, and that link is provided, it's required as part of the assignment to submit so that I have it on hand. But then also I go through the boards and I check through things there too. So that's how you'll grab a direct link. If you have any other questions, drop me a line about VoiceThread and I'll be happy to answer them.